is just going to be a simple whispered ramble. I've had several requests for one of these lately, so I thought that I would make one. I did do somewhat of a whispered ramble story time video not too long ago, but uh, I know things like that, um, surgery videos, they can be somewhat triggering to people, so I can understand why people are requesting just a straightforward whispered ramble without anything too crazy. <laughs> That's what this is going to be. I really did not plan any kind of topic to talk about for this video. That's typically how these go. I just sort of ramble about whatever is on my mind at the time. I do want to start out by thanking you all so much for all of your comments and views on my videos. Uh, I'm really trying to pay close attention to which videos are getting the most engagement and plan my YouTube schedule accordingly. It's interesting because the videos that used to do super, super well for me way back when are actually some of the least watched videos now. And I think that just kind of shows how much ASMR has changed over the years. Right now, my most watched videos are just these simple whispered ramble type videos. And so, as of right now, what I am currently thinking about doing is having maybe one whispered video, whether it be just a ramble or a whispered reading, something of that sort, once a week. And then I will add a different video just to kind of mix it up maybe two or three days later, some, some things such as unintelligible whispering or a video with gloves, mouth sounds, something like that, because I do still get requests for those. It's just not as much as the whispered ramble video. <laughs> so that is the plan for right now. I have been trying my best to stay consistent with uploads and really my goal right now. I know this is very early on in the year, but my goal is to upload two videos per week. And I think if I can accomplish that, that it'll be pretty good. I'll be pleased with that. So that's the goal for right now. And uh, so yeah, that's just basically what I'm doing. I have somewhat of a tentative schedule planned out as far as what I'm going to film. And I do have, I think, some interesting videos coming up as far as the whispered videos. I, uh, I'm planning on doing a Missed Connections video where I read some of the Missed Connections on Craigslist. I'm hoping that it won't be too funny because a lot of times I find myself laughing <laughs> when I'm reading those, so I will try not to do that, obviously, in this video, but I just thought it would 
I just, I can't get it. I just don't get it. And, uh, Windows Movie Maker is so simple, but the problem that I have found is sometimes the audio and video do not sync correctly. Everything will be okay as I'm editing, and then after I've saved the video, when I go back to look at it, it's all messed up. Sometimes this will happen multiple times on the same video, so it is a little frustrating. If any of you have any recommendations on a very, I'm talking very, very simple editing software that I can use, please leave a comment below and I will check some of those out. I, I do want to do something different because Movie Maker is just not cutting it, but it's got to be something simple because my brain just, I don't know, the older I get, it's just more difficult for me to understand things as far as the different uh, editing softwares and just all kinds of things. My brother, he was laughing at me because he was offering to let me use a green screen that he and his girlfriend have, but I, I don't have a clue how to do anything like that, and I don't even know if my laptop can handle editing something like that. Probably not in Movie Maker. Uh, but he was laughing at me and asking me, like, what my processor speed was and all of this stuff that I had no clue. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, so uh, the editing is an issue. But like I said, if anyone knows of something super simple, super, super, super simple, let me know. I do edit my audio and video, um... Like Movie Maker, you have the video down here and then you have the audio above, so I need something like that because I have to put the audio and video together and I have to make edits and cuts and just normal editing stuff, but anyway, yeah, so if you have any recommendations, please let me know and I will check some of those out. Uh, I have, as you know by now, figured out my audio issue. And I do want to thank all of you for being so patient with me as I figured that out. It was so incredibly frustrating. And um, I just, yeah, I thank you guys for sticking around. I could not figure out what the issue was. And then when I figured out what it was, I felt pretty dumb. <laughs> for those of you who may have missed or did not watch the microphone um, testing video. What happened was last year, well, I guess almost two years ago now, when I was filming, my Zoom mic went out. It just, it was not working correctly. And so I purchased a new mic. Well, for whatever reason, I did not throw the old Zoom mic away. And that's what I was using to record my videos on. And so the first, I don't know, maybe three or four videos that I made since I've been back, the sound is just, it's not good. But I have fixed the problem. Uh, this mic that I'm using right now is the Zoom mic that I bought to replace the broken mic. And that mic has now been thrown away. So now that we have the audio fixed, I am hoping that the quality of my videos will, you know, just just be a little bit better than uh, what it was prior. Something else I want to briefly talk about are ads here on YouTube. I make sure that I do not include any mid-roll ads in my videos. And so basically what that means is when I'm uploading a video, I have the option to put ads at certain breaking points in the video. I choose not to do that because I know how frustrating it can be if you are watching especially ASMR videos to have a big ad come up at the very beginning. So I do not add those to my videos. I've had several people reach out to me and tell me that they have noticed the ads being in old videos. And I believe at some point that is something that YouTube must have added on their own because I've never included mid-roll ads in my videos. I do have, I don't even know how many, I would guess hundreds of videos on my channel maybe 200 videos, possibly more, but um, at some point I will try to go back through those and remove those mid-roll ads. I don't know when, but I will do my best to get to those. 
they should not include any any type of ads during the video at all. So if you guys happen to get an ad or something, please let me know because it should not be happening here on my channel. I know, like I said, a lot of people, even ASMR content creators, do that, but it's just not something that I want to do. Um, there's really, unless you're making, I don't know, or unless you are getting thousands and thousands of views per video, you're not really making money here on YouTube. So I, I don't really see the point in the mid-roll ads if it's supposed to be a relaxing video, but that's just me. So yeah, uh, anyway, like I said, just if you could please leave a comment if you see a video with a mid-roll ad, if you could leave a comment in that video and I will remove that ad, that may be the best way to go about it instead of trying to individually go through hundreds of videos because I can't, I can't even imagine how long that would take, but yeah, I did just want to briefly touch on that. I had to take just a very brief break because there was a plane flying overhead and you all know how it goes. As soon as I get ready to record, it never fails. Something happens and if I'm not mistaken, I, I feel like I hear another plane in the distance. So we're just going to have to go with it and hopefully it will not be too loud or too distracting when I was waiting for the plane. <laughs> I did grab some lotion that I'm going to put on because my hands are just super duper dry. I'm trying to make sounds with this, but it's not really working. Uh, this is Dark Kiss and it's by Bath and Body Works. I have had this forever. This was actually in my car for quite some time and it was just kind of my go-to moisturizer if I needed something in my car, but, um, I don't think there's a year on this. This is honestly probably, I don't know, several years old. I hate to say that, but I feel like I've had it that long. But, uh, it says, fall under the hypnotic spell of true romance. True romance. I forgot how to read there. With our exclusive dark kiss and it has black raspberry, burgundy rose, uh, dark vanilla bean, plum musk. So it smells pretty good to me. I'm going to uh, put some of this on and hopefully it won't be too loud. Oh gosh. I think I put a little too much on. This just, to me, is just kind of like a classic winter fragrance. Maybe fall as well, but definitely something for the cold weather. I do have the body spray as well somewhere. I used to be completely obsessed with Bath & Body Works and I would wait until their semi-annual sale and I would purchase, I don't know, like a hundred plus dollars worth of stuff twice a year. But honestly, I don't know if I have ever completely gone through any of my products. Now that I think about it, I usually end up donating them. Unless I decide to keep a bottle of lotion for five plus years. Now I have to get it out from under my nails. Which there's really not that much. That's the only thing oh, that drives me crazy about lotion. sounds. I don't know what it is. They're just really relaxing to me. Can't really make any good finger fluttering sounds because my hands are dry now. 
just counting down the days, <laughs> which we still have a while to go, but anyway, so we're excited about that, and I just, after everything that happened last year, I, I just feel like this is going to be a good year. I hope that it's a good year, not just for me, but I hope that it's a good year for you and your families. I feel as though we all need a good year. <laughs> Last year and the year prior, just sometimes it just, to me, feels like the last probably two or three years have just been a blur, and I don't know if it's because of everything that's happened in the world and in my personal life, or if it's just that way because I'm getting older. I hope it's not the latter, but it may be. <laughs> But yeah, it just, it's so weird because it just seems like everything just blends together from the last few years, and I don't like that feeling. But like I said, I hope this is a better year for everyone. Alright, with that, I am going to end this video. I don't know how long it will actually be. I'm hoping that I made my 20-minute goal once I have edited out all of the annoying background sounds, aka planes, trains, dogs, cars, um, anything else that I may hear. <laughs> Alright, thank you so very, very, very much for watching and for all of your continued support for my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it, and I will talk to you